Welcome back guys, Kyle with Cigar Memoir. Today we have the La Flor Dominicana Chapter 1. It's a six and a half by 58 box press chisel. The wrapper is a Brazilian Lajero Oscuro. Binder is a Connecticut Broadleaf and the filler is Dominican. So this cigar was released back in August 2013 with 100,000 total cigars made. Let's take a closer look. The wrapper is very dark brown. It is almost black in some spots. The box press is fantastic, like a lot of the La Flor Dominicanas. They just always have really nice presses, seamless. Um, obviously, the chisel cap and you know the taper to the chisel is just fantastic to look at. Very cool. This is actually my first time smoking a chisel. And if you look at the foot, this cigar is very well packed. It's heavy, and it's got some nice dark tobacco right in the middle. So let's get the scar cut up. Let's get it lit. Just gonna snip off a little bit of the chisel tip here and see how it how it draws. Perfect. Let's toast it. Really enjoy the draw right away. It's just smooth, open, easily allowing me to get a lot of smoke output here. My initial flavors are just this dark, rich, kind of coffee, spicy, pepper. Just these thick, earthy leather notes. So it's a really bold cigar right away, already coming out almost at like a full body. Um, so let's get into the first third and see what develops. Finish up the first third here. My burn is definitely not razor sharp. I've had to touch it up a few times, but it's not too big of a deal. The ash held on pretty long. Just tapped it off here a few minutes ago. The draw is just a little snug, but I like it. It feels nice with this bigger ring gauge. I'm still getting a pretty good amount of smoke. The flavor profile is very similar to right when I started. It's earthy, it's got a nice leather on the palate, but it also has this big component of pepper. Pepper is strong, it's flavorful, really comes through in the retro as well, extremely potent through the retro. I also have this nice coffee flavor. It's sweet, but it, it kind of just is on the tip of the tongue. It doesn't really consume the palate like the leather and the pepper. It's just a really bold, rich, uh, just these dark flavors that I do really enjoy. I'd say it's already full body, and we are definitely picking up strength at this point. I'd say at least medium strength already. So let's work our way to the second third. Finish up the second third here. And this cigar is making some really nice changes. Construction's getting a little bit better. The burn line's a little more tight and, and straight. Ash is holding on great and tons of smoke output, really starting to produce a lot more and give me some fantastic aromas. As well, the flavor profile is switching up a little bit. It's starting to smooth out, which is really nice because since the cigar is so bold and strong, still earthy and lots of pepper, a little bit less leather on the flavor profile. I just get this great blast of just oily flavors all over the palate. They're so strong and still bold, but again, smoothing out and becoming a little bit easier to smoke if you're not into full bodies as much. It's definitely slowing down a little bit on the burn too. It's just taking its time a little bit more. Those flavors are really, really faint, but they're, they're fun to pick up besides just your bold earthy notes and pepper. So it's a really interesting cigar to smoke if you just take your time and really enjoy a lot of the sweet flavors. It's still full bodied for sure. And I'd say medium full strength. The cigar is building quickly. So let's move into the final third. Just past the two hour mark here. Starting to burn my fingers a little bit. I'm loving it that much. I would've liked maybe a little bit better burn line this cigar, but it wasn't too big of a deal. It is a 58 ring gauge, so they can struggle a bit at that size. But being in the chisel format, it was an absolute treat to smoke. It just easily fits in the mouth and smoked great. The flavors were just so well balanced this second half. I just loved the components of earth and pepper and a little bit less leather throughout the second half and just these small nuanced flavors, sweetness, really hard to pick up on because it's so well balanced and compact. 
a cigar is a complete treat to smoke. Just continue to smooth, smooth out, even with these just bold, rich flavors. My palate is just consumed with so much fantastic earthy notes. I love it. This was just a treat to smoke. If you can find it, definitely give it a try. With over a year and a half of age, these cigars are mellowed out, but still just insane amount of flavor all over the palate. I love it. This is the La Flor Dominicana Chapter One. The class I put this in is dynamite because it's full bodied, full strength all the way through, but still so smooth you can handle the full body. It's just the full strength that might be a problem for some people. Quality, the quality I give it is Roman numeral two, memorable. If you wanna learn more about our class and quality, check the description for a video. Don't forget guys, comment, like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at cigarmemoir.com. See you next time.